Hey everyone, how are you going? It's freezing cold here on the beautiful sunny Gold Coast in Queensland. And uh, last week we started talking about those unconscious messages, that childhood programming that we have where we get all our beliefs, behaviours, emotions and everything else that we do in our life. Our fallback position that wants to keep us safe. And we talked about the basic fears and the lost messages that we have. And today I wanted to just talk about how we manipulate. So if we're someone where it's not okay to make mistakes, we manipulate by correcting others <coughs> and insisting that others share our standards. That might be all right if you're teaching or facilitating but if you do it all the time and you're always got to be right because you can't make a mistake because you're so good and we become a critical perfectionist and that's not so good is it that creates all sorts of problems for us but we have all the different levels of all these things on it you know I'm sure you think and if it's not okay to have your own needs, we manipulate by finding what other people's needs and desires are and then we start to create dependencies. And you hate to admit it, of course, but we've all seen it, it that, you, that there's these people that we know, and it might be us, that always have to find out what other people's needs are. What do you need? How can I support you? What, what, you know, what sort of things can I do to help you? And so then becomes this dependency. Now, if you're a carer, that's fine, isn't it? You need to have that sort of skill. But if you use it just to manipulate because you can't have your own needs, so you've got to just satisfy everyone else's needs in order to get love. And it's amazing to have those people in the world. The next one is, it's not okay to have your own thoughts and feelings. And we manipulate by charming others. And, you know, we become the chameleon. We, we adopt whatever image will work. And so we become this person who loses their authenticity because you always have to be charming. You always have to be whatever image everyone else does. And I think we all do this in our own way. But it's if we take it to ex extreme, isn't it? And I think acting is a perfect example of this, isn't it? You have to adopt the image of the... Um, person that you're playing in whatever you're doing whether it's a play whether it's a movie or whether it's a show and sometimes that can be complete opposite to who you really are and so you love playing the character but sometimes we manipulate by playing the character without our own authenticity behind it and the next one is it's not okay to be uh, functional or to be happy and we manipulate by being temperamental. And others have to walk on eggshells, if you like, because they can't, you know, they, they're too frightened to upset you. I'm sure you know people like this. I'm sure you've had to walk around on eggshells when somebody's, you know, super sensitive because they're not happy or not, they can't be functional or there's things going on in their life where you feel like you have to be careful what you say or what you do and just in case they, you know, something terrible, you know, they get violent or whatever. So I think that we have to think about all these things and I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying that this is how we manage our world when we start out doing and working on ourselves. So... The fifth one is it's not okay to be comfortable in the world because you, you're not allowed to have any needs. And the way we manipulate is by being preoccupied. 
It's by detaching emotionally from others. And again, it's something, if we're really upset, we disassociate from ourselves and we do, we do detach emotionally from other people. But it's if we use it to manipulate, it's something different again, isn't it? So the sixth, sixth one is, it's not okay to trust yourself. And if you can't trust yourself, you have to have other people be the authority over you because they know better. And this is where a little bit of imposter syndrome comes in, isn't it? Because other people always know more than us. So what do we know? We can't trust ourselves because we, we're not the authority. They're the authority. Whereas that's not true. So we manipulate it in those situations by complaining. And we test other people's commitment to us. Well, if you really love me, you know, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> so, you, you know, I'm sure you can think of your own examples of doing that. And the seventh one was, it's not okay to depend on anyone for anything. And so how we manipulate is we distract others. We insist others meet their demands and ideas and things and not worry about us because we just, we just want to insist on everyone doing their own thing whereas in actual fact we're doing that because we don't want to depend on anyone to support us because that's the only way we've known love. And number eight is it's not okay to be vulnerable. So we start to manipulate in that one by dominating others and, and demanding that others do as you say. So you don't have to be vulnerable. You have to be in charge. If you're in control, you can dominate, rule. And, that, and you know, it's all these things. Um, we do all of these things. But it's when you take them to extremes and manipulate others by using these tactics that causes us problems. And the last one is it's not okay to assert yourself. And this is a doozy, and I'm sure you all know this one. <laughs> we manipulate by being passively aggressive. And we resist others. And we check out. We go off on a, chand a tangent and be sort of passive aggressive because it's not okay to see. So. so they're just nine different things to go with our unconscious programming and conditioning for you to think about. And so with that, I'll leave you to think about all of those and let's go. Think about it. How do we manipulate? What's our resistance just to being us? What's our resistance to being our authentic self? What's our resistance truly stepping in to who we are and living our true nature and purpose and being authentic all right see you tomorrow <laughs> oh and don't forget 24th of july i'm doing a five-day challenge on beating burnout finding calm and if you want to know anything about my app just message me below and let's chat bye for now <laughs>